The rating agency Fitch has downgraded the U.S. government's debt. It's a dramatic move that signals rising worries the U.S. might not be able to meet its fiscal obligations. The United States' prior rating, a AAA rating, was second to none. Tuesday's one-notch downgrade to AA+, sparked outcry from the White House and from U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, who called it arbitrary and based on outdated data. I strongly disagree with Fitch's decision, and I believe it is entirely unwarranted. Fitch said it was concerned about both the rising level of American government debt and whether the country would, in the future, muster the political will to pay its bills. Here's Davide Barbusha, U.S. investment correspondent for Reuters. The reason they decided to go ahead with the, uh, with the downgrade was because uh, of uh, long-standing concerns that were uh, fiscal in nature. So looking, for instance, at the ratio of uh, debt to GDP uh, in the United States, which has been uh, increasingly over the past several years, uh, and also uh, the concerns related to the uh, governance of the country. For instance, the last uh, debt ceiling deal uh, was essentially agreed just a few days before the so-called X date, when uh, the government uh, would have uh, potentially been in a situation in which it would have not been able to pay its bills. This week's downgrade came after a congressional deal in June that suspended the debt ceiling until 2025. But Fitch wasn't just alarmed by rising debt and political gridlock. It also cited the January 6th Capitol riot. When speaking to Richard Francis, who is a senior director at uh, Fitch, uh, he explained how uh, the uh, political polarization in the United States was a contributing factor in uh, Fitch's decision to downgrade the government. Another episode that was highlighted in conversations between uh, uh, the rating agency and the Treasury was January 6th insurrection, which again exemplifies that type of political polarization uh, that we have been talking about. The rating agency highlighted events from January 6, 2021, in meetings with the Treasury ahead of the downgrade decision. Fitch referenced polarization with both parties, saying, quote, the Democrats have gone further left and Republicans further right, so the middle is kind of falling apart, basically, adding, we don't fault one party or the other for the fiscal situation.